Welcome back to another vlog. I'm so excited to be filming today's video. Today is move-in day. I just ran to the rental office that we are renting our new place from. I just picked up the keys. I grabbed a coffee and we're gonna head over to the new place and check it out. I have a few things in the back of my car that I like loaded up this morning. I have like my mop and stuff because the house was just clean, but I'm a freak and I just wanna make sure before we start moving stuff in like the floors and stuff are clean. So I'm gonna go over there, check it out. It's currently 10 in the morning. And I'm so excited. I want to get over there because I want to film an empty house tour for you guys and get it up. So this will be the start of the move-in series. I'm so excited for a new place, a refresh. If you guys missed the past few vlogs, we are moving just like literally up the street. It's not like far. It's like 10 minutes just for a little bit more space and an extra bedroom for the nursery for the baby. So I'm going to go give you guys a full in-depth house tour. People are staring at me vlogging. <laughs> I still get embarrassed. Starting off the moving series, Dylan's family gets in later this like later afternoon, early evening, and Dylan should be off of work earlier today. Today's Friday. It's like a rainy day, which I hate. I hate that it's raining because I feel like the place might look a little bit dark. So we'll see how it looks. So excited to share. So excited to bring you guys along. And I can't wait for like all the new memories in the house. So let's go. I'm gonna give you guys like a full empty house tour. Just got to the new place. It's a little echoey in here. Obviously there's literally nothing in here. Um, and they installed blinds, which is nice because last time I came to look at the place, there was no blinds on the window. So I wasn't sure if they were gonna include that. All the blinds are on. I just went and turned some lights on. So you guys can see it's still pretty bright in here. I feel like it picks up well on camera, even though it's like the grossest day out. The hallway, it's kind of like our house now, long hallway. I feel like this hallway is definitely longer because there's a bedroom right here, which this is normally where the garage would be. So we have a bedroom right here that I'm really excited about. This is gonna be like where I keep a desk, a big mirror, clothing rack, stuff like that to film work, try on hauls, things like that, that I don't have in our space right now that I'm like currently <laughs> looking for. And then also I think we'll do like a pullout bed or something for guests and stuff for the football season, just so we can still keep it at two guest beds and then the nursery, but stand at the window so you guys can see, but it's a good size bedroom, probably like the desk right here, big mirror right here. And then there's also this huge closet, which will be like just back stock stuff, um, coats, random things that just needed a place to go. We have this whole entire built out closet right here, which will be so, so nice. So we have that. And then there's also a full bathroom right here with a shower, which is really nice. Cause then for the guests, if they stay, they have a full bathroom down here. They don't have to go upstairs and share one. Finishes and everything that they chose for this house is exactly what I would choose. I feel like this house is very, very my style. And I love that. There's like really nothing that I would change about the interior design of the house, like the lighting, the mirrors, all that kind of stuff. So ceilings are really high, which is nice, really pretty, just like single vanity, have some good storage in here, some pull-out drawers, toilet, obviously. And then there's a bathtub. And then this will go into the hallway. So this is like the bathroom on the main floor. But you can also get to it from right here. So there's first bathroom and bedroom. I also just love the color of these floors. They're just like much warmer, much brighter. These are the like same color floors that my parents have in Florida and I just love them. Okay, turn on these. We have the staircase here, which will go upstairs in a second, but I wanna show you guys like the main living area, which is what I'm most excited about, this kitchen. It's so stunning. It's much more storage than our last place. And the appliances and everything are just like top notch. I'm so excited about this kitchen. Whenever we have guests or whenever we're just like hanging out, we always are hanging out in the kitchen living room. So I, I like this layout of everything just like being open. It's really, really nice to have. And we always get really spoiled by really nice appliances in our Nashville townhome rentals. They're just like so nice. I mean, this stove is insane. So this is a little kitchen layout. Don't get me wrong, our kitchen in our place right now, I was very thankful for and I still do love, but I just feel like this one is a little bit more me without the blue tile. And I feel like there's a ton more storage, like the cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. So I'm thinking here obviously will be where we put the coffee machine. We'll put some coffee mugs and glasses. It'll be a cute little coffee bar situation. We have a wine fridge, which we've never had. Dylan's like really excited about this. We can put like champagne and stuff in there too. And then I'm thinking over here, we can do like a bunch of our poppies, cokes, stuff like that. So it won't take up a bunch of the fridge space. This is the coolest thing. Cause I was like, wait, there's no pantry again in the kitchen because right now we have just like a cabinet like this and it's a like three shelf pantry and it's where all of our stuff goes and it just gets like crammed and tight. So I was touring this place and I was like, wait. So I opened this up and I was so excited about this. So it's like a hidden little pantry walk-in room. 
and there's a light in here so much storage goes all the way up there's also electrical right here so i can put like the mop in the vacuum which we didn't have at the place now we had to keep it in the garage there's just so much space for like kitchen appliances crock pots baby stuff food canned goods all that kind of stuff so everything will go in here and i love how it's like just able to be shot like out of sight out of mind kind of thing there is that and then we have like microwave obviously all of these cabinets here the under the cabinet lighting is the best if you guys don't have that in your kitchen you can like easily add it there's like lights you can get on amazon i feel like it brightens up the kitchen a ton so highly recommend the tile and the vent hood that they chose in this space is literally stunning i'm obsessed with it we also have one of these now which i've never had before fills up your water like over the stove which is really fun and cute <laughs> two little open shelves right here we have some cabinets that are like built-in type of things which will be really nice for storage so these i think are for like utensils and stuff i want to say and then over here i'm honestly not sure like do you put spices and stuff in there or what do you do <laughs> huge amazing stove we always do thanksgiving in nashville so this will be nice i need to figure out how to work that it looks very complex over here's the dishwasher we have the sink cabinets and then the trash right here obviously huge trash cans and then this one's a recycling bin i believe if you want to use it like that this fridge i feel like is bigger than our fridge now ton of storage and then the underneath obviously is the freezer we have this huge cabinet up here to put some more stuff as well this is like the view once you're looking out of the kitchen it's, everything's just open i think our living room in this place is a bit smaller so I'm not sure if we're going to have to put the couch up against the wall or what will happen with that. But um, this area is a little bit bigger, like for the table, because we have these little nook cutouts. So I was thinking maybe like a big chest or like a buffet type of thing, like a cabinet for storage, either between these two windows or a long buffet table under here. So I'm just waiting until we get the table in here because I just want to see how much like walking room we have. But really pretty light fixture. And then over here is the living room area i'm obsessed with these beams in here it's so pretty and it's so me i'm just like obsessed with this living room i love the fireplace it has like the little it's a gas fireplace but it has like the little balls which is really cute and then the only thing different is there's not windows right here like our last place so i could even do bookshelves here if i wanted to like matching ones for storage or put like the olive tree and maybe like a chair or something so we'll see what we end up doing once we get furniture in here but here's a view from the other side i think i like mentioned it in a vlog a few vlogs back but i was like this place is very very similar to our old place um which is kind of nice when it comes to like furniture because now we don't have to like buy a ton of new furniture maybe just like add a few things but everything that we have should work in the space like our bar stools our table upstairs you'll see like our beds all that kind of stuff will still work and fit then we have the outside which this is a little bit different than our backyard now because the dogs will now go up and down the stairs which i think might help a little bit with mud i'm hoping they did install these little blinds which i feel like are necessary for privacy but i don't love them i'm gonna see if we can eventually take those down and just like put them in the closet for the time being and maybe just do like a big curtain rod and do some like pretty curtains here because i just don't love the look of those but it's like not a huge concern at the moment okay so then we have this little sliding door and then this out here is covered so what i'm thinking is we have electrical on this side and on this side so i guess just depending what looks better we're gonna put the sectional sofa out here which we have currently in the backyard now and then put like the coffee table i got a rug for out here and then hang up a TV out here, which I think will be really nice for like football and stuff for the fall time. And then like summer, just having another little area to hang out and like sit outside and get some fresh air with the baby. So we can always leave these sliding doors open, but that is the main floor. The backyard is very similar to what we have now, like size wise. There's like a big patch of mulch and like trees in this backyard versus just grass. But honestly, it's like we didn't really care. Um, the dogs still have like a place to like run around and play and then Dylan's gonna put a little shed in the back corner because we don't have A garage anymore, which was like the one thing about this place that we were back and forth on I was like all for it I was like, I don't care if we don't have a garage because we don't park our cars in the garage anyways Because with these townhomes in Nashville that they build everything is so narrow because they try to Slap as much as they can in a row you guys can see here like they're just all lined up This is just like how it is in nashville when it comes to like rentals and city living I guess everything's super close you guys saw we got a little storage unit to hold all the christmas stuff Which honestly i'm like I kind of prefer that having it out of the house like 
no clutter in the house, no Christmas bins, nothing taking up any of the closet space. We had all of our Christmas stuff shoved into our garage and our pantry room and it was taking up like half the pantry room. Like why did we not just get a storage unit this whole time? I think we ended up getting one for like 35 bucks a month and it's so close to the house, convenient. So we decided to go that route. First floor is done. Now we're gonna go upstairs. The Wi-Fi people come around too. It's currently 1045. So I'm gonna try to get a bunch of stuff like brought over here. I'm gonna go back and forth with my car and just like lift light things, like miscellaneous light things that I can get over here. Um, so then I can start like at least doing something while the Wi-Fi people are here installing the Wi-Fi because I feel like that always takes so long. It's like one of the most annoying tasks ever. All right, back in this hallway area, here are the stairs. These stairs in this place are much wider and the railing is open so it's like more visible. So I'm praying that Winnie does better here. Also the hardwood floors are lighter and she does better at my parents' house on the hardwood than she does at our place. And I think, like sometimes I think it has to do with the light floor. So I'm gonna pray that when we bring her over here finally that she doesn't absolutely hate it. Really pretty railing, staircase, like the pendant lights and it's much wider. So I'm like, fingers crossed. So you get upstairs. If you're looking down the stairs. So if you come up and you take a right, this room here is going to be the guest room off the front of the house. When you walk in, it has this little area to itself that is just like built-in storage and cabinets which will be so nice just for like random random things and then before you head into the front room if you turn right here this is going to be our laundry room now which if you guys i mean you guys have seen it several times our laundry room right now is in just like a closet which is fine i would always have to dry like all the clothes out in the hallway and i would have to like just always have clothes out here in the hallway it would drive me nuts so i'm so excited to have this like laundry room especially to have this little cabinet place in here is really nice. There's a trash can. We've got some storage and then some more storage up here. So this will be really nice to have. And then we can put like our hanging rack and stuff and then the washer and dryer being installed tomorrow. So very, very excited about this washroom. If you guys remember when we lived in Colorado, our laundry room was like the size of a mini bedroom. It was so nice to just like put everything in there, shut the door, get it out of the way. And then when we moved to Nashville, it turned into like just a closet room, which is fine, I'm not complaining, but it is really nice to be able to have like an entire laundry room. So I'm gonna shut this door and I ordered a new washer and dryer that I'm very excited about. Okay, going back to this spot, this is the guest room, really good size. We'll put the bed here, nightstands here, um, cute little window. And then we have a full size closet in here too, which will be nice for the guest and honestly like overflow for jackets and a coat closet for Dylan and I. And I like how everything's built in. So we have like a ton of shelves and just like the storage will be really nice to have. And then this room also has its own bathroom. Has the tub, nice little window in here. Open this. I have some shower curtain rods coming and some more shower curtains because we only had one tub in the other place. And here we have three. So those are on the way, but this is the cute, Little bathroom, again, everything that they picked out is so cute. This floor I'm obsessed with, and then cabinets and storage in here as well. Here's the belly. Today I'm exactly 27 weeks. I just hit my third trimester, which is so crazy. This is a little guest bedroom situation. Really excited about it. And then prospect over the staircase. You go over this way and we have the nursery and the master, which is so nice to have these two rooms close together. I think I'll feel better knowing the baby is right here and we're just right here. And then also I feel like it might, I don't know how he'll be, but maybe it'll lead to him going into the nursery and sleeping in his own crib quicker than normal. Because in our house right now, if we were to stay, his nursery would have been the very front room and we would have been back here. So I just like the idea that we're closer. Open up these blinds. I really wish it was like a sunny day. I feel like the sun's trying to peek through, but when I came in toward this house, it was a really sunny day and the lighting was really beautiful. Here's his nursery. I'm thinking like crib right here between the windows, some pretty curtains, little rocker chair, dresser, a big rug, play mat, stuff like that in here. I'm going to use his nursery as like another play area just because we don't have like a bonus room or a playroom or anything. So I figured this is a really good size room and yeah, he won't probably sleep in it for a while, but it'll be nice to like have the chair in here, to feed him in here and like play and do like tummy time and all that kind of stuff. If you turn right here, this is his closet, which is perfect. Really good size, will fit all of his clothes. 
random baby stuff. We can do bins and storage here. We can also do a lot of storage up here. So this is really, really nice. And then he also has his own bathroom, which will be really nice and it's a tub. So for bath time and stuff, and it's just like the other one. This one's a little bit bigger actually. Um, I ordered the cutest little like bathroom set for his bathroom. I can't wait for it to come in. Lots of storage and stuff. There's like still random things from the builders. This place is like new construction. So some of it is still wrapped like this bathroom thing right here. I need to like figure out what's going on right here. Window in the bathroom to let some light in. I can't believe this is the room that will like bring the baby home to and it'll be his first room and we'll do like bath time and all that stuff like just being in here just makes me feel so calm. I just love it and it's just like exactly how I would picture it if we were to build or do a house. So I just feel like this space is special. So I'm so excited to like decorate and do this nursery. I'm going to do like a full nursery type of video so you guys will see it come together. We have like nothing bought for the nursery. I'm just excited to like finally be in the space and like have the space to start organizing, nesting, decorating, all of that kind of stuff. So this is Baby Boy's nursery. This will be mine and Dylan's bedroom, which yeah, this is just like a random furnace room, like kind of scary. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking we can, if I need to put like my suitcases and stuff right here, I feel like that's like a good spot to set all of that. Okay, and then we have the bedroom, which I'm gonna open these a little bit. Right now in our old place, our bedroom gets the best lighting because we have this huge window. This bedroom, I feel like is gonna be a little bit darker just because we only have these two windows here because the like bathroom and stuff is this way, whereas in our old place, the bathroom and stuff sat right here. So we're missing that big window, but this bedroom is so much bigger, you guys, than our space now. So we're gonna be able to put a big dresser and also it's so much wider. So we'll be able to fit like a little bassinet and stuff for the baby. Um, both of our nightstands will fit here, our bed frame. So just like a really good size all around bedroom. We also have a fan again, which Dylan will be very excited about. And then we'll hang a TV right here over the dresser. Then you've got the master bathroom and closet, which this was also another huge reason that I felt like moving into the space was good. So we have the big shower, which really beautiful, nice shower. And then we have his and her vanity, which we've never had before, a ton of storage. I'll probably have to use some of Dylan's storage plate towels and stuff because there's no way he uses all that stuff. But we are losing a linen closet, but I feel like it's fine because we have a ton of space here. And then we have a little toilet room and then this closet I'm so excited about. They did put blinds here, which is nice because I didn't think that they were going to. And I was like, how are we gonna have any privacy? But blinds are on, which is really nice. And then just so much storage. I've showed you guys this little closet in the vlog already as a little sneak peek, but I cannot wait for this. I mean, these cabinets are so deep and will fit so much. Built-ins for like shoes purses and then up here we have even more storage like just all around so much space this mirror in here is gonna be so so nice and then we have like this long thing for all my dresses more built-ins over here shoes just like so much space i'm so excited to get everything in here and get it organized so anyways that is the entire little town home tour i hope you guys are excited about it we're really excited for a fresh little start and a fresh place to bring the baby home to. Now we just have to get everything packed up and moved over here. I think I thrive off of change in new spaces because it's what I've been used to for the past four years. Like we're just having to move for Dylan's work and stuff. So I think a fresh start for us will be really nice. So I hope you guys are just as excited for the new place as we are. I know it's very similar to the old place and I know some people will be like, what is even the point of moving? But to us, it just made sense. So anyways, that's the full house tour. I'm gonna go back downstairs, finish up my coffee, start bringing some stuff in from the car. And I need to turn all these lights off because I've turned like every single one of them on. I have some of the most random things in the back of my car. So I'm gonna load this. This is like light stuff. I'll probably leave this for Dylan because I don't wanna do any heavy lifting, but I have like new trash cans and stuff that I got from Target, new soap things, all that kind of stuff. some like random stuff over. I brought some paper towels. If anything needed to be wiped down, I brought a floor mop, but honestly it's raining and like even me walking in and out, I'm like, there's no point of mopping the floor until we're done moving in and out. Cause I feel like it's just gonna get floors all dirty. 
So I brought two trash bags to put in here. I don't know why, but it's like weird that this is now our house. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I need to go back home, but this is like where we live now. I don't know. Any of you guys like that? I honestly think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I know it wasn't really like a vlog, but I just wanted to show you guys like the empty place and then the next video, which will be like very soon after, will be um, the start of like moving everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys are excited for the new space. I just got this cute little like travertine thing for right here by the sink. Cute in here. The new kitchen is so cute. I'm very excited about it. So I love y'all. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next vlog, next moving series when we're actually getting stuff in here and organized and furniture and things like that. So love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.